Hey everybody, Jake Reichbart here. Today I'm going to share with you a lengthy lesson excerpt. So have your guitars ready and we're going to have some fun together arranging a song. Perhaps you've seen some of my many hundreds of solo guitar arrangements I have here on YouTube and the inspiration for these arrangements is right here behind me as you can see. I grew up with this with these vinyls and uh, I draw pretty much from any kind of style imaginable from the pop music of the past hundred years, everything from Glenn Miller to Van Halen, Alan Holsworth to Motown, and pretty much anything in between. Beatles, I have perhaps uh, 25 Beatles song arrangements, 20 Steely Dan song arrangements, same for uh, Stevie Wonder, rock, hard rock, D Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, and of course, tons and tons of classic jazz standards from the 40s and 50s, bebop, dance tunes, movie themes, and if you want to learn how to arrange any of these songs for solo guitar, I can teach you. Just like the excerpt that you're about to watch, which comes from a lesson that runs about 90 minutes, I have nearly 200 additional titles, and they are mostly song specific. I enjoy teaching through specific songs because I can show you hands-on how I approach arranging a song. What's nice about these lessons is that I don't just tell you, do this and you're done, but rather I'll take you through three or four or five different ways to play the same passage. I'll work with you on dynamics, on articulation, and a hundred other things that you cannot just put to paper. As I mentioned, these lessons run approximately 90 minutes. The introduction, which runs usually 15 minutes, focuses on the right hand and rhythm. And in this introduction, I go through my three pillars of rhythmic arranging, the first principle being melody and bass only, the second being rhythmic arpeggiation, and the third, of course, the down stroke that I play with my right hand fingernails to produce that backbeat that everybody asks me about. Nevertheless, I do have two main method lessons. The first one, how to arrange any song for solo guitar running two hours, and also an introduction to fingerstyle guitar and solo guitar arranging running two hours and 40 minutes. The information about these lessons, the cost, my full lesson list, as well as a link to the full performance of the song that we're working on today is below in the information. So expand the information, take a look, and let's get started. The introduction consists of two parallel parts that are very similar in the way they're constructed and the way they flow, but they differ in some uh, small important details and uh, which uh, suggest a different harmonic meaning. So we'll get to that in just a second, but let's get started. That first movement is starts with a D chord and I'm in the fifth position. I got a bar in the fifth fret. I play the D and another D on the third string, seventh fret. I hit the F sharp with my pinky, uh, second uh, string, seventh fret. I slide it to the G. And then I shift the chord the harmony shifts, <laughs> the left hand doesn't do anything almost. Actually, not almost, it doesn't do anything. I move now to a G chord, and I do so by now plucking the G that sits under the same uh, first finger. And while these are still ringing, I also play the A on top. And I play that twice, the A note. My next voicing is in the uh, ninth uh, position. I have my first finger on the F sharp, fifth string, uh, ninth fret, fret, as I mentioned. And I also play the E on the third string, the same fret. And then my second finger holds down two notes on the 10th fret. Those are the A and D. And I pluck out first the A, and then I add the D together. I remain in this position. Now I shift the bass note from the F sharp to the C sharp on the same fret, the ninth fret, but on the sixth string. 
and then I take my pinky and I pick the B on the second string 12th fret and I pull it off to the A that's still being held here by my second finger then I take once I pulled off this note I shift the pinky to the D on the 4th string 12th fret pick that and follow it by the E that again is still being held with the first finger so that's four melody notes the B A D E I shift away from this position to play what is essentially a G major 7 uh, in my view it doesn't matter what it's called what it sounds is more important but it is really just a drop 3 voicing never mind exactly what that is but it's this voicing of G major 7 and that's the first inversion of it so it's the exact same chord and I play it by placing my second finger on the B 6th string, 7th fret. I also play now the G with my 1st finger, 4th fourth, fourth string, 5th fret, as well as the D and F sharp, strings 3, 2, 7th fret. But I also include the A on top. So, and I start this chord by picking these four notes together, B, G, D, F sharp, then adding the A on top. So my first finger is more of a bar because it has to get the notes G and A. Next voicing is a kind of an A9. Although there's no three in this voicing, right? I could, I suppose. It's not necessarily. Necessi it's not necessary. I'm just playing the open A along with this triad which is in fact an E minor triad, but against the A, it sounds like, and functions like an A9. So it's the notes G, B on the third string, and E. And now I've got a quick uh, movement that's kind of a diatonic chordal movement. There's no real melody here, but there are top notes, or notes that I pluck out of it. So the first, one is indeed that G major 7 that I alluded to just a moment ago. G, F sharp, B, and D. And I pluck the bottom three notes and kind of play the B and then the D. The next chord preserves the D on top, but move these three notes diatonically down in the scale. So now with my first finger I'm able to play the F sharp, E and A. And then I follow one uh, more diatonic chord down which is just an E minor which is just E D and G. Or you can also include the B on top. It's like I said, it's a chord, it's not exactly a melody, but the 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 kind of arpeggiated implication is that it goes like that. So final chord in this little sequence is again A in the bass but with a G triad here making it kind of an A11 A sus it's similar to this really other than instead of the E I have the D here so it's an open A along with a G B D strings 4 3 2 frets 5 4 3 okay that's the first half of this phrase so putting it together slowly Thank you. 
No risk death. This was syncopated, and I played this inadvertently. I'm just doing it by habit on the beat. Once again, slowly. on to the second half of the introduction starts the same exactly but now when I play these two A notes I harmonize it differently it's no longer a G chord now it's a D suspended D 11 and it's played very simply by just playing all the five notes on uh, five top strings on the fifth fret so D G C E and A so, the next chord is a G6-9, and it's very similar. If you remember, just a moment ago, we played this voicing. It's exactly the same thing, other than instead of the uh, F sharp in the bass, it's G in the bass. So, we still have these notes on top, but with, with now G, so it's a G chord. Very interesting. If you remember previously at this exact spot, we were playing this note in the bass. It's the exact same thing, except that now this note is in the bass, the F sharp. And we're playing the exact same motion. B, A, D. It's virtually identical other than the different bass notes. Uh, previously it was. And now it's. So together. Now, if you remember earlier, we had this. Now we're playing the same voicing, but with E in the bass. So in effect, this is an E minor 11 or minor 9. So open E in the bass along with G, D, F sharp, and then the A. Same chord as before now, the A suspended, and the four chord sequence again is exactly the same. So that part is the same. So now I'll play the entire introduction uh, with its two parts back to back. And you notice by the way here that in this case I hit the open E string. I was able to pluck it out a little sooner before I played this chord. So same thing, E and E, doesn't matter. So again. Yeah. 